to my channel sharp designs by lakeisha where i am designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same as you guys just saw me and dakota were on the plane we are back in atlanta for another event it is another drive-by shower and i am currently on site separated in a different part of the house i'm blowing up the balloons the theme for today is falling for baby cyrus which is the baby's name so we're going with some fall colors i'm using um Qualitex Pearl Midnight Blue. And then I'm also using Qualitex Chrome Gold. Um, I'm using Tough Text. This is my first time trying out Tough Text balloons. I heard these were amazing for outdoors, so I'm going to give these a try. And the color is Burnt Orange. And I'm also using Qualitex Blush. So, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss an upload and you are not tardy for the party when I do a new upload. Also, follow me on Instagram at by underscore Lakeisha as well as Sharp Designs by Lakeisha to keep up with what's going on in my balloon world as well as with the fam. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish blowing up balloons. I did start. Um, you guys can see kind of the color combination right here. Looks gorgeous. Alrighty, so if you are new here, I'm going to be using what I call a figure eight method to do the balloon garlands i'm going to start off some people do two clusters some people do four but i prefer to do two i feel like i have more control of the shape when i do two at a time and so because i don't have enough 260s um i'm also gonna have to i like to use 260s to do my clusters as you guys saw in my cluster video now but i left a lot of my left my pack of 260s I only have like maybe 20. Um, so I'm, I didn't get to make the garland with the 260s, which is what I also started doing lately. So I'm going to probably have to make the garland with 260s as well as use the fishing line to add in some of the clusters. So I have my fishing line attached and I just double knotted that on here if you guys can kind of see here. So then I'm going to take a second set and I'm going to attach it on top here like so, crossing the end, move my fishing line to the center. Telephone. <laughs> And then what I'm gonna do is cross it over to lock in the new one and I just bring it around, basically making a figure eight and then I give it a slight tug and wrap it around once more for good measure. And in this particular color, I only have um, 11 and five inches. Um, so it's not gonna be a huge variation. And that, let me show you guys. Again, I'm gonna take this pair and I'm gonna sit it here on top making a cross. I'm gonna sloop the fishing line over, bring it around on the back of an existing, back up to the center where I started, a slight pull, and then wrap it around again for good measure. Thank <laughs> you. 
And then they'll be sitting, so. In the middle. Yeah, and they're white chairs with blue pillows. And I still have a t few clusters in there I can add in. And then I just tie them should, that, using should we raise this part a little bit? here. This part? To, is that even possible? No, I kind of like. And this is the sign she ordered. Falling for baby Silas. Pictures? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so after we got it hung up, we had quite a few clusters left on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and find a space and add them into the garland. And then I also went and added a cluster on the corner down here. Alright guys, so this is how we decorated the front for Halloween. Coda, show me your pet spider. Did you name your spiders? Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you name them? Uh, Mommy and Daddy Spider. Mommy Spider and Daddy Spider? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so I just got this super cute little thing off of Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. I know it's late, but next year you'll be able to snag it yeah. oh no wait we just took a picture so we'll post that on instagram and if you see it on instagram then you could have got it but that's what we just pretty much got through doing we just took a few we just took a few pictures um for halloween before we head out and find some fun to do oh the sun is bright before we go out and find some fun to do today guys oh and i straighten my hair y'all I did it by myself since my stylist is in Atlanta. I don't have stylists. I don't have braiders or stylists, natural stylists here in Seattle. So if anybody knows anyone, please comment down below because I literally just did this and this is already puffing out. I'm sure it's because my flat iron sucks, but see you guys later.